बिस्मिल्लाम डॉक्टर अर्शद महमूद आज हम एक इम्पोर्टेंट केस डिस्कस करने जा रहे हैं विद डॉक्टर अहमद और ये प्रैक्टिस केस है और एक सरप्राइज केस है इनके लिए सो so, uh, अगर आप पेडाटिक मेडिसिन में इंटरेस्टेड तो हमारा यूट्यूब चैनल डॉक्टर अर्शद महमूद चाइल्ड स्पेशलिस्ट आपके लिए काफी हेल्पफुल होगा इसमें आप प्ले में जाएं और अपने अकॉर्डिंगली प्ले की वीडियो देखें तो बेसिकली हम ये केस करने जा रहे हैं दैट इज अबाउट अ ट्वेल्व ईयर्स ओल्ड चाइल्ड विद वॉकिंग डिफिकल्टी केस हम ऑलरेडी परफॉर्म कर चुके हैं चूंकि प्राइवेसी के मसन की वजह से हम पेशेंट को प्रॉपरली दिखा नहीं रहे हम जस्ट स्टार्ट में उसकी फाइंडिंग्स दिखा रहे हैं ताकि आप सब भी इस केस के इन टच रहें सो so, स्टार्ट में हम इसकी फाइंडिंग्स देखते हैं कि पेशेंट का गेट कैसा था उसकी मूवमेंट्स कैसे थी और उसकी फाइंडिंग्स क्या थी फिर हम डॉक्टर अहमद से डिस्कस करते हैं कि उस केस को बताएंगे so, डॉक्टर अहमद प्लीज अब आप जो है अपने केस की डिस्क्रिप्शन दें जो आपने शॉर्ट केस के तौर पे एग्जामिन किया है आई हैव एग्जामिन 11 ईयर ओल्ड बॉय हु इज कॉन्शियस फॉर लिस्ट इंटरएक्टिव ड्यूरिंग माय एग्जामिनेशन ही इज ही हैड ऑफ सिगमडक्टिव गेट विद द फ्लेक्स पोस्चर ऑन लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द बॉडी देयर इज अ टोन इज टोन मसल बल्क इज नॉर्मल एंड टोन इज इंक्रीज्ड ऑन लेफ्ट साइड लेफ्ट लेफ्ट साइड विद रिफ्लेक्सेस आर बेस्ड एंड एंकल क्लोनस इज प्रेजेंट एंड प्लांटर इज अप गोइंग ऑन लेफ्ट साइड एंड सिमिलर फाइंडिंग आर प्रेजेंट ऑन लेफ्ट अपर लिम एंड देयर इज अ सुपरफिशियल एब्डोमिनल रिफ्लेक्सेस आर प्रेजेंट एंड स्पाइन इज नॉर्मल एंड एक्सेसिबल कैनियल आर इंटेक्ट एंड एस ओ एम आई आर नेगेटिव एस ओ एम आई आर नेगेटिव ओके सो हाउ आज द गेट ऑफ चाइल्ड अगेन दे राइट लेफ्ट साइडेड सर्कम डक्टिव गेट स्पेशल वाज हैविंग लेफ्ट साइडेड सर्कम डक्टिव गेट एंड व्हाट वाज द पोस्टर ऑफ अपर लिम सर अपर लिम सर्कम डक्टिव इट शोस दैट पेशेंट वाज हैविंग फाइंडिंग ऑफ लोअर लिम दैट वाज सर्कम डक्टिव सर्कम डक्टिव हाउ आर द फाइंडिंग्स ऑफ अपर लिम अपर लिम व्हाट वाज द पोस्टर ऑफ अपर लिम Was oh, the swing of flex. arm was normal? Are affected on the effect oh, on flex, the side? Oh, flex, flex posture, flex posture, and uh, swing. How was the swing of the arm? Uh, It was reduced or normal? Uh, uh, reduced. Okay. So let's tell us about what is the patho pathogenesis of this gait, circumductive gait. Why a patient walks in that manner? Uh, due, due to hemiplegic gait. Uh, just hemiplegia due to this um, left side hemiplegia. Why a patient has circumduction? circumduction based why patient walks in, in circumduction manner uh circumduction there are those two things one is a loss of power and second is a sparsity sparsity so patient is having reduced Spar power and again sparsity because sparsity is unable to flex his legs uh, there so is a sparsity because sparsity he will then uh, move the leg in the side way and then uh, come again so sparsity leads to this uh, and why there is a flex posture in upper limb due to sparsity again this sparsity this use atrophy, atrophy. Uh, the patient will have the flex posture and that that will lead to the reduced arm swing and the special posture of the child okay so uh, regarding description it's so better it to go like this that my findings are confined to the left side because your findings are all confined to the left, left side. side so so again summarize the finding to the left side um, that will be a more crisp description my finding examiner are, likely like to uh, listen that type of description my positive findings are uh, confined to left side with the upper motor neuron lesion on left sided with the circumductive gait and tone is uh, increase and reflexes are uh, brisk and mm -hmm. plantar is are up going okay fine uh, you can say that patient is having circumductive gait and my findings are confined to the left side of body both involved in the upper and lower limbs in the form of hypertonia hyperreflexia grade 4 and reduced power of 3 by 5 or 2 by 5 3 by 4 or 3 by 5 with upgoing planters so this will be the crisp and brief description of the case so uh, uh, are there any deformities in the affected side you have not commented on the deformities yes there is a uh, uh, atrophic the, uh, first start with the lower lower limb 
No. On the left side, are there any deformities? No, I can't appreciate. There are no fixed or mobile contracture on the left lower limb. Left lower there, limb. there is pescivus definitely. And the muscle bulk, have you compared the muscle bulk? Because yes, your findings are confined to the one side. This is the only case where you, muscle bulk is important. So you can take on uh, performing to start, you can measure the muscle bulk by taking a some landmark, one landmark, and then you can check the muscle bulk. So in that case, you should uh, uh, take the muscle bulk. And there is a pescivus deformity, if, if you see. What are the deformities in upper limb? Have you not mentioned about uh, that, those a, deformities? Uh, there is uh, a uh, atrophic, uh, right. atrophic uh, of, So there is reduced muscle bulk reduced on the muscle. left side That's and right. other tone is increased tone. and there are basically the mob uh, mobile contractures. These are not fixed mobile contractures right. on the affected side. So definitely in that case, you have not performed the bicep reflex of the left side. Uh, due to you should have exposed the arm, you should have tried to uh, to maximally, to passively extend the arm and then you should have to perform the bicep on the affected side because these are mobile contractures. So in that case, you can perform. Mm -hmm. Okay, so summarizing your case, what is wrong with this child? This patient is having left-sided spastic, spastic hemiplegia. hemiplegia. This patient is left-sided spastic hemiplegia. So this is very simple. It is acute or chronic? It is chronic. Why chronic? Because there is a sign of uh, atopic. Because there is a sign of chronicity, chronicity in the form of in the form of reduced uh, muscle bulk, muscle bulk, spasticity, spasticity, and, and, uh, and the uh, and the uh, mobile uh, contractures. So mobile these are basically the signs of. So considering 11 years old child with left side spastic hemiplegia, and a patient is having some sign of chronicity, what comes in your mind that what can be the underlying etiology of this child? Uh, there is a uh, right sided uh, stroke. So stroke, stroke, patient had some stroke yes. that has le led to the, led these to findings. The, okay. Finding. So considering pediatric age group, what kind of uh, strokes or what kind of disease you can see underlying this? Mm. You said that patient was least interactive or less interactive during examination. Yes. How have you, have you, uh, was the child was deaf or dumb or uh, was not just interactive? Le uh, least interactive. Yeah. So patient was able to listen to your listen command. To your command. So he was and not, he was, he was not following my following command. Following your, he was following your command. He was following your command, so his, his uh, listening was normal. So he, yes, there is no sensory aphasia. Okay. So was patient as was having aphasia, or patient was not uh, just talking to you? No, he was. For that you need history. Okay. Because you know that uh, in a uh, side, if patient is having stroke on the dominant side, patient can have aphasia, and your child is, as you say, that yeah. patient is case of chronic stroke. So yeah. there can be a possibility underlying. Yeah. So again. Uh, as uh, considering uh, the the thing that patient was least interactive, was not active, although was of 11 years old, so he should have been uh, of uh, such skill, having such skills. So what comes in your mind in that case? Can it can be in can be a case? You know, can, it can be a case of spastic hemiplegia and uh, uh, hemiplegic CP. No. Uh... Hmm? For this, I uh, I want to do. Uh, you should have checked circumference. this head circumference. Oh, I've seen that. That is very important. Because if you think the patient is delayed, so you should have checked his OFC. That will differentiate that patient is having some uh, some type of chronic stroke, maybe one year, two year back. A patient is having some type of perinatal stroke that has led to these findings. So uh, in your differential, definitely you will have some uh, remote stroke. That is a possibility. Uh, and that uh, and the spastic hemiplegia is again a possibility. So considering this finding, and the patient OFC is less than his age. Considering that, how will you proceed for diagnosis, for investigation, for management? For uh, diagno uh, for diagnostic uh, MRI brain. Definitely, you will MRI first brain. view the previous labs. previous labs, and uh, then I will do uh, MRI MRI brain. Mm -hmm. and, uh, what are you finding? You are expecting this child. Uh, there are uh, atrophic changes due to chronicity. Uh, mm -hmm. There is a um, atrophic changes in uh, right side of the. Uh, Okay, uh, so which, which territory of stroke it will be? Uh, uh, both uh, upper and uh, middle and anterior cerebellar artery. MC stroke, 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 most likely MC, MC stroke, stroke presents like this. Okay, fine. And uh, regarding management? Management uh, 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 to prevent uh, recurrent strokes. And, and this child, uh, considering the perinatal stroke, how will you manage this child? I will do uh, just uh, multidisciplinary approach. Multidisciplinary approach involving? Involving pediatric, included myself. Uh, uh, and uh, peers neurologist, mm. physiotherapist, chest physio, uh, physiotherapist, mm. and uh, uh, psychosocial support, mm. and uh, right physiotherapist, pediatrician, pediatrician, neurologist, 
and developmental pediatrician definitely they have role and speech therapist speech therapist and hearing assessment hearing assessment visual and hearing so detailed development assessment will be done in this case assessment. and uh, regarding uh, the acute issues in this child um, only there is a this patient was admitted as epilepsy Epilepsy. So def- definitely that is the acute issue, and in chronic issue definitely patient is having a dynamic Atopic fractures of left side, patient is having spasticity, patient is having some uh, developmental delays, so that issue should be addressed. Yes, thank you, thank you so much.